Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. This video is going up on a Monday. So hope you have a good week. Make sure to stay tuned. We're going to have a live stream later on tonight. Now we're starting the episode at Plainview. This was actually an important location from Red Dead Redemption 1. But here in Red Dead 2, it is completely different. Now if you look at the name, Plainview, that is a huge Easter egg. That is a reference to the movie There Will Be Blood. Starring Daniel Day-Lewis playing the part of Daniel Plainview. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. But it's almost like that entire movie takes place at this location. But like I said, it is a lot different in Red Dead Redemption 1. And this is the start of the trail that leads to Mexico. I'm going to show you the differences. Also, there's a secret that's nearby that is different in Red Dead Redemption 1 as well. So I have a lot to get to in this video. Do me a huge favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and definitely join up for the live stream later on tonight as we continue the Hobo Life playthrough in Red Dead Online. With that said, we're going to time warp. Here we are. You can already see it looks so much different. There's more towers, more tents, and we are controlling Jack Marston. Now, in Red Dead Redemption 2, Jack is a child. Here is a full adult, so that gives the idea of the time difference that we're looking at. Hey buddy, you searching for oil? Is he stretching? So in the movie, There Will Be Blood, it starts off with Daniel Plainview discovering the oil. He falls in the hole, breaks his leg. It's pretty intense. And that's where the whole oil boom happens. And maybe that's what's going on here. You can see how people are fixing it up, building new oil rigs. Because in Red Dead Redemption 2, there is nothing. So in that short amount of time, that's where Plainview blows up. And if you look at the map, here's the path, so this does not exist in Red Dead 2 either. It leads all the way across this island. So we'll look at that in a moment. Actually, there's one other thing I want to point out. Take a look at this. You got Repentance Rock. What is that Repentance Rock in Red Dead 2? Because it is completely different. Rockstar changed that a lot. Now, I've not been here in quite a while. I've played Red Dead 1, but I have not really been to Plainview. Let's take a look around. Why would Rockstar change this up so much? I understand the time difference, but I was pretty disappointed when I booted up Red Dead 2, came to Plainview to find nothing. All right, so you got random guys walking around. Daniel Day-Lewis, is that you? No. Okay, so you got the stew pot. Really nothing stands out, but a couple missions do come here, including one with Nigel West Dickens. So because of that, it is a very memorable location, and it takes a long time to unlock Plainview and the rest of New Austin in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now keep in mind, this is the biggest oil drilling location in all of Rio Bravo, so that is why I expected a little bit more Easter eggs and secrets to be found, of course, in the newer version of Red Dead Redemption. All right, so you got the arm wrestling contest here. We don't got time for that, so let's head down the path. I'm gonna show you guys the bridge. Now this would take you to Mexico. I really hope Rockstar can add Mexico and maybe a little bit more to Red Dead Redemption 2's map, but considering the current events that we're going through, I feel like Rockstar is not going to add any more DLCs, at least a single player, to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully I'm wrong. So you go down this path, pass by some people. I know this is an old game, but I still think Red Dead Redemption 1 is amazing. It holds up for anybody who hasn't played this game, but has played the hell out of Red Dead 2. I think they would agree. They would see this game and, you know, it may not have the same graphics, but it does hold up and it feels massive you're almost there look at the river it's huge the first time you go to mexico in this game you have to have a raft that goes all down the river till you finally make it to mexico it is an epic moment and here's the bridge so you're telling me this entire bridge was built between red dead 1 and red dead 2 i'm not buying it maybe they had a dlc in mind where they can add the bridge and let us explore mexico in red dead 2 with the updated graphics i think everybody would be down for that so there it is Red Dead Redemption 1, if we were in Red Dead 2 right now, it wouldn't even exist. We can't even get here. We have made it to this spot in Red Dead 2, and it feels like it's almost done. So maybe they could add it, but until now, this is a location you can only explore in Red Dead 1. Also, by the way, there is no swimming in Red Dead Redemption 1. Back to Red Dead 2, guys. I can't even look at this version of Plain View. It is so disappointing. So the path should be right here. Heading towards Mexico, but there is absolutely nothing. I mean, there's not even an Easter egg or secret to find around here. There is no reason to come down into this area. 
Okay, so you can see the island in the distance where the bridge should be. You'd think they would at least be starting on it or something. And look at the area. It just looks so much more different. It looks a lot more red. I understand Rockstar kind of wanted to give it some different vibes, I guess. But in this case, I feel like it looks nothing like the original. Okay, so we got some terrain that was not in Red Dead Redemption 1. I guess Rockstar took some liberties. Either that or an earthquake completely transformed everything. I also want to mention there's a town in Texas called Plainview. So that could be the Plainview here in Red Dead Redemption. But I doubt it. I think it's just named after Daniel Plainview. Let's head over to the island. Maybe there's a small Easter egg or something that we can see referencing Red Dead Redemption 1. It also seems like the San Luis River is massive. Was it this big in the original? I don't think so. Okay, so the island just stops right here. Will you let us get across? Come on, Rockstar. It's pretty much already there. We have glitched and explored all of Mexico. It looks primed. It's ready to go. But it's pretty obvious. Rockstar does not want us to go there. You're so close. Swim, John. Wait a minute. John Marston can't swim. Shiza. You even got the train going through Mexico. I miss this place. One last trip across the border crossing bridge. Let me know in the comment section below if you want them to add the bridge and Mexico into Red Dead Redemption 2, or at least Red Dead Online. So we're gonna head past Plainview and go to Repentance Rock. And I also wanna mention that the movie There Will Be Blood takes place in New Mexico. So with Plainview being right across from the Mexico border, just like New Mexico, I really feel like Plainview is just a big Easter egg to There Will Be Blood. It shows you that nobody has more Easter eggs and references to movies, things like that, than Rockstar Games. So we're going to head back to Plainview, go past. There's a big secret that you can find in Red Dead 2 that is mysteriously missing here in Red Dead Redemption 1. So I'm going to meet you guys at Repentance Rock. I have to say, if you're going to go between Red Dead 1 and 2 in a recording session, you're probably going to have some trouble because the horse controls are completely different. So good luck if you want to attempt it. I've definitely fallen off the horse quite a bit. So you got the oil rigs in the background, and apparently this is Repentance Rock. So we're going to have to visit it in Red Dead Redemption 2, but there's a big secret that you can find below Repentance Rock. Let me mark it off on the map. It should be right about there. So we'll go there in a moment. What is this place? I think you can actually find a treasure. Maybe a map takes you here. It looks pretty ominous though, especially with the sunset coming down. So if you go to the X right here, you will see that there is nothing here. Well, actually, sometimes you can find a couple people camping out talking about Red Harlow and even John Marston himself. But right here, you can see nothing. In Red Dead Redemption 2, there is a big secret that you can find at this location. So it should be here. Where did it go? Here it is, Repentance Rock. It looks way different. And if you bring up the map, it just says Repentance. So not Repentance Rock. It is just Repentance. Not too sure about that. And if you come down, you'll find that there are whale bones in the ground. So that is not in the original Red Dead Redemption. Where did it go? I know you do have the paleontologist searching for bones. So I suppose it is a possibility that she found them and then took them away. But you have sperm whale bones in the middle of the desert. I think that's the biggest question. Why are there whale bones in the middle of the desert? How did they get here? Did the sperm whale somehow go through the San Luis River? Maybe it's prehistoric to where this used to be an ocean. I don't know what's going on, but to find whale bones right on the side of the road for anybody to find. I think that's a pretty big mystery and definitely one of the trippiest secrets in the game. But why are they not in Red Dead Redemption 1? I think it's one of those things where Rockstar was making this version of New Austin and Rio Bravo and they thought, hey, let's put some sperm whale bones right here in the middle of nowhere. Why not? So I hope you all enjoyed the episode. We got some big ones coming up soon, so stay tuned here at the channel. Hit me up anytime on Twitter at TrippyComs. I'll put a link in the description. Don't forget to sub, hit the like, and also hit the notification button because we live stream all the time. Our schedule is a little bit random. That'll let you know whenever we go live. So until next time, guys, hopefully we can make it to Mexico. Adios, muchachos, and stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?